Hi, uh, this is part two for the Ben-Hur uh, design in two-point perspective. So here we, uh, we finished the, um, the two-point perspective uh, drawing and then we had an initial uh, value applied in. So uh, if you look at the uh, original sample, the texture uh, makes this uh, drawing interesting. So what you can do is when you create a texture, there are simple things you can follow. Of course, the value. Remember the value chart? I apply those values and make sure that when you look at the designs, uh, look at it carefully, which part should be dark, which part should be lighter. In this particular case, I usually make the lights, obviously at light source is here, right? But bottom, they didn't making it darker. There's a slightly showing the bottom. Actually, the top here on the left side, they made it really dark. But the bottom, it's actually a little bit lighter. Okay. Left side really dark. Again, original design has a lot of other things uh, included in the poster, so you're not going to see the whole uh, left section blocked uh, show. Here's the like building uh, showing something like this, right? and then there's a, I think a sculpture crouching with the, some kind of uh, pole holding. Okay, I cannot remember exactly. But basic idea is this, when you are uh, creating, uh, you're making this one look like old structure. So all the corners are like broken apart. And so edges are never straight. You know, always there's a little crack that shows through. Right. Okay. So basically you are repeating that. So don't worry that these kind of lines I just saw going through because that could be the part of the texture. So normal condition, what do I do? I use the uh, ruler to block some parts to make the edge really clean. But in this case, I'm just going to go rough on all the edges because that's how it should be when something becomes old. When you create a... Uh, the parts that's cracked throughout do not overdo it a lot of people people going like these kind of uh, things okay those are just uh, imagination actually when something cracks it doesn't really uh, go like this uh, you have to follow the structure let's say this is the uh, left side of the B and something uh, it's broken out let's say this is the part right and this part gets darker, and this part gets darker, and then this part's a little bit lighter. Except everything is not that straight, like what we draw, right? So in details, these are something uh, that happens when you draw, right? So here, let's say I'm going to create a part that's broken apart, right? Then top part should be a little bit darker, and the left uh, bottom part usually lighter. So apply that kind of rule. And if something is uh, all the way from left side to right side, some parts a little bit darker, some parts a little bit stronger, right? So texture is another study that's we should do, but in here, just think of it as a little bit of uh, tasting what it's like adding texture to the structure. So this kind of structure, another things that actually you can do is blend it. Some people like to use fingers, some people like to use uh, smudging um, tools such as blending sticks things like that uh, all of those are fine okay again 
slightly go in to make it look like the texture is a little off and line is not straight so that means you should uh, start erasing these a little bit to create a little bit rough texture so a little uh, shake while you are drawing it So another uh, easy way is, let's say, this is another way you can do. So usually if you are a beginner, I don't really recommend doing this. But if you are uh, intermediate, that this is another technique you can do. And actually making it really dark, right? Uh, don't worry about the edge. Right. And then if you have an eraser, just start creating a little rough texture with it. But some of them don't do it too accurately. So this is a, another kind of way that you can create a texture. Uh, so you can also use the smudging technique because uh, when you create with the blending stick, be careful because it tends to create the same texture. Uh, do not uh, smudge it too much because you need to create a rough texture, not gentle and soft. Right. But ultimately, if you want to be a, uh, good at drawing, try to express everything without too many different tools. Just you should be fine with just using the pencil. Okay. Right. So this one and this one, it has completely different feeling depending on how you treat the texture, okay? So eventually this will get all dark, right? And use uh, more uh, left side of the uh, pencil, same thing, all around, you go a little bit different texture, right? So all the edges uh, destroy a little bit because these are all broken parts, right? Again, if you want to create some crap part, again, don't overdo it. Just a little bit here and there, right? So line, make sure that never do those straight lines or zigzag, right? So there are all parts that a little bit of uh, thicker because of the hole or line thinner and always connect it to some corners as necessary. Okay? So that's how you uh, value the old, making it uh, old look.